Meet Arnold. <laughs> Seems like you played for a little too long today, Arnie. The only sensible solution is to go to bed. Good night, Arnold. Ooh. Spending the whole day playing video games won't go unnoticed. After such excitement, something terrible can happen. For example, sleep paralysis. REM sleep is a state in which the body is immobilized. With sleep paralysis, your brain wakes up, but your muscles stay frozen. So you can see and hear, but you can't move. During these moments, hallucinations start to occur, and it feels like a demon is sitting on you. But this isn't for long. What's wrong, Arnie? Are you afraid to sleep in the dark? About 10% of people on Earth suffer from nyctophobia, the fear of darkness. Scientists believe that this trait is genetically inherited. Our ancestors were afraid of being eaten by nocturnal predators, and so our imagination paints the most terrible pictures in the dark. Ooh, it looks like there's someone behind that window. Ha! Huh. In the world ranking of candy-ass scaredy pants, you, Arnold, get first place. All fear is formed in the amygdala of the brain. A feeling of fear is formed in this little tiny one and a half centimeter sack. There were actual cases when people's amygdala was destroyed due to a disease called Erbach White. This permanently disables the fear response. But this most definitely doesn't apply to you, Arnold. You're afraid of everything, even your own shadow. Okay, okay, I'll turn on the light, just so you know that nobody's here. But sleeping with the lights on is a bad idea, too. It suppresses the amount of melatonin produced during sleep, which can lead to excess weight. Therefore, the choice is obvious. In order not to become an overweight, yellow-bellied poltroon, you need to sleep in the dark. Yeah, falling asleep when it feels like someone else is in the room is not an easy task. Maybe it's just your imagination. Ugh. Or maybe not. You know that Googling your symptoms is a really bad idea. Oh, look. Depressed mood, lack of self-confidence, fatigue, Hmm, maybe you really do have depression. Perhaps you should make an appointment with a psychiatrist. It's really important not to self-diagnose and self-medicate, so don't... Huh? <clears throat> Yeah. Wow, so many different antidepressants. Something tells me you're not interested in reading the directions either, are you, buddy? All right, so you have two packs of Prozac, 75 tablets of Celexa, five packs of Zoloft, half a jar of Lexapro, and a whole lot of sedative syrups of different varieties and colors. Not that this will necessarily cure your depression, but once you start collecting <laughs> medicines, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really concerns me is the tricyclic antidepressant. But if I know you, I know that sooner or later you'll start using that garbage too. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what you took this time. MAO inhibitors can lead to delirium tremens, hence your hallucinations. Dizziness, tremors, seizures, all are caused by serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The euphoria and pleasure you're experiencing come from tricyclic antidepressants. By the way, did you notice that you haven't eaten in eight hours? Models sometimes take antidepressants to not feel hungry, and dreams under antidepressants appear closer and more tangible. So, Arnie, was it all a dream or was it real? What now? You don't want to self-medicate anymore. Wait, Arnold, what are you doing? You can't flush the pills down the toilet. You ignoramus. Due to antidepressants getting into the sewers, fish have become more aggressive. You remember that Toby is a piranha, right? Due to fluoxetine getting into the water, fish are losing their individuality, and the effect is preserved for generations to come. Dang it, Arnold, you better take him to the vet. Did you already forget what happens when you diagnose and prescribe treatment yourself?
Looks like everything's getting weird and buggy. <laughs> Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you paranoid pinhead. Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty. Hmm, another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right, this definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold, who's this? No, 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 don't even think about it. This is not the Matrix. That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? How can you tell what's real and what isn't? Arnold, you could sleep through your whole life. Get up already. People sleep for one third of their lives. During sleep, the body is restoring. Some species of birds, marine mammals, and reptiles can stay awake for up to 10 days. One half of their brain is asleep while the other one is working. In order not to waste time, streamer Asian Andy slept online and earned $16,000 in one night from donations. I think someone's breaking into your house, Arnold. Wake up! Arnold, who are these guys? They don't seem anything like your friends. Congratulations, Arnie. Somehow you've gotten yourself into what looks like pretty big trouble. Again, what the jumping Jiminy is this place? Looks like a college dormitory at not the best university. Wow, Arnold, looks like you could be a superstar in a new reality series. How on earth did they get a file on all of you guys? Whoopsie daisy, I guess they got you here by mistake. What do they want from all of you? Uh-oh. I don't like this at all. Arnold, haven't you been able to sleep? A day without sleep leads to headaches. Your hearing becomes noisy and difficult. And your memory becomes impaired. You need to sleep. It's believed that on average, a person can endure no more than five days without sleep. That's when the real oh. test begins. No. Optical and auditory hallucinations begin to the first to set a no-sleep world record was 17-year-old Randy Gardner, who stayed up for 11 days. But this was later beaten by Robert McDonald, who stayed awake for 19 days. But the representatives of the Guinness Book didn't confirm it. And conducting such kind of experiments on yourself is quite dangerous for your health. You're the only one left, Arnie old pal. I'm reminded of one legend about Soviet scientists. They put five people in a room for 15 days with a stimulant gas that kept them all awake. Arnold, you're free! I can imagine you probably want to go home and have a good night's sleep. He's taking a vacation for the first time in 10 years, and he's gonna have fun. Sorry, but it seems like your vacation will have to be postponed. Elon Musk's spaceship has crashed. Another failure after the disastrous launch of the Cybertruck. He really wants to colonize Mars. Elon Musk has managed to dehydrate people and pack them into capsules. Look, it works like instant noodles. Just add water.
On board, there were 67.5 billion capsules. So now, there will be 10 times as many dumbasses on Earth. But this isn't your problem. Although, actually, it probably is your problem as well now. With so many people, they can't all be provided with transport. It's faster to walk. Each person on the planet produces about 0.75 kilograms of garbage every day. So, more than 200 trillion tons of garbage per year. This is enough to completely fill about 99 Grand Canyons. Power plants are being built everywhere. Because 75 billion people consume about 125 billion kilowatts per day. This amount of electricity is enough to charge 8 trillion iPhones. But this also means emitting huge amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. You don't need to be a genius to realize just how seriously this will affect the climate. Free space is in short supply. So here are your new roommates. Only men. Reproduction is strictly prohibited by law under penalty of death. This world definitely doesn't need any little Arnold Rugrats running around. Although, you were unlucky with women anyway. By the way, you hungry? You want to eat something? All food is now synthetic and recycled. You just tasted a recycled toilet paper patty. I cooked it just for you, like pearls before swine. Anyway, you still have to spend the night in this corner. Due to the increase in CO2, all the glaciers have melted and flooded 35% of the land. Given the agricultural needs of people for food, less than 1% of land is left for housing. Now, only rich people can afford to sleep with their legs extended. Damn, Arnold, I envy such a shorty like you. Go sit and watch a movie on the internet on Slowfix. Oops, to enter, you need to take a number and stand in line. You are the 1,250th. Due to overpopulation, internet speeds have dropped by 99.5%. Look where you're going! 20-story cemeteries are only for millionaires. The rest of the population are buried on any free piece of land. Pack your bags! Elon Musk built an ark from ocean debris and said he'd move you to the underwater Las Vegas. Cities are now built 9,000 meters underwater, like Everest, but down instead of up. You can finally rest, Arnie. At least in your hallucinations. <gasps> Sorry, but you can't escape. Even at an altitude of 5,000 meters, you still have to work on your YouTube channel. Where are you flying to? At least check the map. Ooh, looks like you flew right into the Bermuda Triangle. According to rumors, planes and ships often disappear here. Arnold, where did your jet wings and clothes go? Seems like the rumors are true and you're about to disappear. Science doesn't recognize the strange things taking place in the Bermuda Triangle. However, there are several non-scientific theories. According to one of them, everything that disappears here ends up in a parallel universe. Look, everything's a little different here. You look strange even to this dog. As you can see, your house has also changed a lot. I advise you to be careful there. Meet Arnold. This is Arnold, although from a parallel universe. He's much more successful than you and even sports a stylish mustache. And it looks like he doesn't like you at all. There is another theory. Everything that happens in the Bermuda Triangle is due to aliens. And perhaps they're taking vehicles to study human technology or putting it in a museum. Just look at how much stuff they have in their exhibits. Since aliens are poorly versed in terrestrial life forms, you were placed with mushrooms. Don't be offended, Arnold. It could be because of your haircut. You won't be bored for long. They say aliens abduct people for a different purpose. You must get pregnant and carry their alien baby. Sorry, Arnold, but aliens are also bad at gender. Did you finally wake up? It seems that at this altitude, you passed out from a lack of oxygen. 
and had some crazy dreams. And this blackbird mistook you for a rival. As I said, from a scientific point of view, nothing unusual happens in the Bermuda Triangle. Calm down, Arnold. No planes, ships, or people disappear here. Provided, of course, that their jet wings don't run out of fuel. Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! I have a surprise for you. Of course, you know I'm your ally in battling your social phobia. I've decided to help you by moving you further away from people, specifically to the top of Mount Everest. The mountain's other name is Chomolungma, and it's the highest point on planet Earth. By the way, just saying, but you owe me $50,000. This is the average price for an expedition up here. To survive at the top, you need top-level equipment. After all, there's very little oxygen, and it's extremely cold. Go down, quickly, at least a kilometer. Hurry up, Arnold, but move as slowly as possible. Oxygen is only one-third the normal here. Try to save your energy. Lack of air causes the brain to misperceive time. Crawling five meters in three hours sounds a little too slow to me. Fortunately, the wind at the top reaches 200 meters per second, and it can help us. You can fly eight kilometers in just three minutes. But be careful, the ledges may get in your way. Lucky you, you fell into the trash. Everest tourists leave so much garbage on the mountain that the government pays $2 for every kilogram of garbage collected. I see you're trying to pay me my $50,000 back. Arnold, try not to breathe so much. At a temperature of minus 60 degrees Celsius, your lungs will begin to dry out. Mountain coughs are so bad they can even break your ribs. I'm sorry, Arnold, but climbers can't remove corpses from Mount Everest. It's impossible. Moreover, corpses are used as height markers for mountain peaks. Well, Arnold, at least you found something useful to do. I see you're really happy to be here, buddy, especially after such fiercely cold conditions. Uh, I think perhaps you're enjoying it a little too much. Hello, Arnold. It looks like you started hallucinating from a lack of oxygen, and someone brought you to the campfire. I'm glad that you woke up, but there are still six kilometers ahead of us. Unfortunately, I don't think you have the strength left to reach home. But wait, Arnold, I have an idea. You can repeat the feat of Marco Sifredi. In 2001, he descended Mount Everest on a snowboard. I believe in you, Arnold. Multiple broken bones and the last stages of frostbite. But we reached the Earth! Arnold, it's unbelievable! Come on, shout with me! Hooray! <laughs> Arnold, I was just kidding! You can't scream in the mountains, it can trigger an avalanche! Don't worry, Arnold, I'm not gonna leave you here. You still owe me $50,000. Are you dreaming of being Spider-Man? That's cool and all, but just don't tell me you want to get bitten by the spider. It's a black widow. The poison of this spider is 15 times stronger than the poison of a rattlesnake. It's good that they don't attack people first or you'd be sorry. Wait, Arnold! Did you swallow the spider? The path to the stomach through the esophagus is like a steep water slide with a pool of hydrochloric acid at the bottom. And that acid will easily neutralize the spider's venom. If you wash the spider down with a glass of water, it'll reach the stomach in just two seconds. But without any liquid, its fall will take nine seconds. And it has lots of time to bite you. Get ready! Black Widow Venom contains the neurotoxin alpha-latrotoxin. When you're bitten, this neurotoxin attaches to the receptors of nerve cells and causes an influx of calcium there. And this releases hormones that cause convulsions and paralysis. Arnold, you did want superpowers, didn't you? Now your abs can stand even a sledgehammer. And what about a four-hour erection? or eyes that protrude from their sockets. Somehow, I think you look more like a supervillain, Arnold. What is it, Arnie? Do you regret eating the spider? 
let's take advantage of the hallucinations and look at some other options. Here's Arnold. He was bitten by a six-eyed sand spider. Its venom causes internal bleeding and tissue necrosis. And there's no antidote. And here's the victim of a bite from the world's most poisonous spider. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the Brazilian wandering spider. Its bite in most cases leads to cardiac arrest. But back to our reality. Fortunately, only 5% of adults die from black widow venom. Yeah. After 12 to 48 hours of the most terrible torment, the effect of the poison stops. Hey. Arnold, no, stop! That's just an innocent little house spider. It's not poisonous at all. Get up, doofwad! Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. When NASA was studying how zero gravity impacts a person, they paid $18,000 to a volunteer to lie in a bed for 70 days. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy! Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Good news, Arnold. You're close to the record set by Soviet scientists. 370 days in bed. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Every day, you're losing 5% of your muscle mass. On top of that, your bones are also damaged. And due to your lack of mobility, your bones don't repair and they quickly start deteriorating. And paradoxically, falling asleep lying down becomes impossible. Without a shift in activity, the brain doesn't know what time of day it is or when it's time to sleep. But this does have its perks. You can watch all your favorite shows over and over again. I'll leave you here now. Enjoy the show, Arnold. Oh my god, Arnold! What did you do to yourself? I wasn't serious about the sniper. It's really not good to lie down so much. What happened? Did you just get fired from McDonald's? Don't worry. Every person is talented at something. For example, heard of a guy from China who got into the Guinness Book of Records because he didn't blink for 57 minutes. Hey, where did you go? Arnold! What? You broke the record? How? You glued your eyelids! Oh my god, it's really dangerous! Blinking is necessary to lubricate your eyes with moisture. Our lacrimal glands contain antibodies, lysozymes, and electrolytes. Without them, your eyes will become defenseless. So, I'm afraid you won't be able to admire your literacy for long. The smallest particles in the air will begin to settle on the eyes and scratch them. In addition, the longer you don't blink, the more you want to. Arnold, there is one secret. Blinking has another function. It shares the information you receive and renews your attention. This means that the more interesting stuff you see is, the less you want to blink. Try to distract yourself with something calming. Yes, I think a good old black and white movie will do. There are three types of tears, reflex, emotional, and basal. Because your eyes are dry, the tear glands are trying to make up for the lack of moisture. But the movie isn't bad either. Oh no, who knew the film would have a nuclear explosion in it? Arnold, how do you feel? Bright light hurts you, your vision gets worse. These are signs of conjunctivitis. It needs to be treated properly. It sure won't go away by itself. Be careful when reading the drug instructions, Arnold. With Vision of Plus 5, it's very difficult to read up close. But with myopia at negative 5, you'll have problems with viewing objects in the distance. Ladies, stop it! He didn't see anything! Arnold! Arnold! Wake up! Looks like you got beat up by the pharmacy security and you lost all your belongings. 
I wouldn't stay in such unsanitary conditions for long. Don't have the strength to go. Eerie similarity to the symptoms of adenoviral conjunctivitis. This happens when the retina is torn and the virus penetrates through it. Arnold, get up! You'll develop abscesses and retinal detachment, and you can go blind forever. You see these halos of light around? Thank God, it looks like someone called the ambulance. What's wrong again? Arnold, these are not ghosts, they're doctors. Stop, you can't hide in this cornfield. After all, it's drawn. Damn. Oh, are you teaching spot commands? Right, the best way to teach something is to show by your own example. Hey, Arnold. Arnold! Oh, no. Whoops, we have a small problem. Arnold, don't be scared, but you are buried alive. Just like Rodrigo Cortez. <laughs> uh. Stop yelling already. Screaming increases panic, heart, and accordingly the amount of air you use. And you have a maximum of two hours of breathing in your coffin until you run out of oxygen. Arnold, your phone, you're only two meters deep. Hooray! There's one line of connection. Call your loved ones, they'll save you. But this isn't certain because for them, you're dead. They'll probably think your call is someone's stupid hmm. prank. Try to connect to the internet. Your post will be seen for sure, but only after they like a cat in a funny suit, a new post by Ariana Grande, and a funny shaped potato. I have it. Geotag post gets 79% more engagement, and a post that says oil was found will 100% attract the attention of Donald Trump. In critical situations, a person's animal instincts wake up. Well, I expected that it would wake up in you. Arnold, when lacking oxygen, people often see hallucinations. Maybe we can Google what to do. Don't hammer a nail in your life like it's a coffin lid. Get out of your comfort zone. There's no way. Oh, kill Bill too. Do it like Uma Thurman. You need to punch a hole in the lid. Be strong in spirit. Collect all your anger like Naruto. Ooh, did it hurt? You need to somehow break the lid. Look if you have anything in your pockets. Ew, Arnold, what is that? Oh, give me a break. You won't even need them outside the coffin. Ooh, this will do. Breakthrough. Hit. It's like you're trying to escape from fascists or from the whining songs of Billie Eilish. You did it. Now you have to tamp all the dirt into the coffin to clear your way out. You have to lift your shirt so that it can be tied over your head. This is so that you don't suffocate from dirt falling on your head. Arnold. 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 Wake up. Hallucinations again. It's way easier for a person to get from out of a depth if it's equal or less than their height. But since we have two meters here, you should try to crawl up like a worm. Arnold, you're almost there. Hey. Congratulations, you're alive. You scared us. <laughs> Wait, what's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. <laughs> Lucky you. <gasps> But now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane because this is the longest flight in the world. Huh? And you screwed up again. Uh. Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Pew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. 
This is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines. They can handle even an elephant. Hmm. After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Get out! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! Oh.